Captain Armando Salazar, once a feared captain in the Spanish Navy, took his vendetta against pirates to a whole new level. Imagine a man so consumed by hatred that he'd stop at nothing to rid the seas of those who sailed under the black flag. But what drove Salazar to such extremes? Stick around, because we're about to unravel the mysteries behind this ghostly antagonist. Death. Death will come straight for him. Would you say that to him, please? Yes. Salazar's story starts with a burning hatred for pirates. He and his crew, aboard the Silent Mary, ruthlessly hunt down and kill pirates, regardless of their actual crimes. The pirates of the Caribbean unite, forming a ten-ship fleet to confront Salazar. Despite being outnumbered, Salazar emerges victorious, leaving the seas stained with the blood of his enemies. Yet, in the midst of their celebration, young Jack Sparrow orchestrated a sly maneuver, leading Salazar and his crew into following him, ultimately trapping them inside the Devil's Triangle. It's a twist even the most seasoned pirate wouldn't have seen coming. Salazar's vendetta against pirates runs deep, stemming from a dark past where he murdered his own father for affiliating with pirates. However, it's not a story of tragedy, but rather one fueled by unbridled hatred. His transformation into a ghost cannot be considered tragic at all because he got his ship destroyed while trying to pursue a young Jack Sparrow. This happened because he was unwilling to let any pirates escape from him and was provoked by Jack's taunting unable to tolerate any insult to his ego. While he blames Jack for what happened to him, what Jack did was essentially self-defense. Even if Jack hadn't teased Salazar, Salazar would have tried to kill him anyway, driven by his relentless pursuit to eliminate all pirates he came across. In the conversation between Salazar and Hector Barbosa, he asserts that he only targets pirates, sparing the innocent. However, his actions in the Devil's Triangle contradict this claim. Despite his assertion, he and his crew ruthlessly attack and kill anyone entering, including the crew of the British Royal Navy ship Monarch. This stark contrast reveals Salazar as an aggressive and indiscriminate killer, showing that he is not as nice as he claims and is willing to harm anyone, not just pirates. For a villain who supposedly had such a significant impact on Captain Jack Sparrow and the world at large in his time, Salazar was surprisingly lacking in depth. His character followed the typical story of someone turning bad after fighting against evil for too long. Salazar was undoubtedly intimidating, but most of that came not from his personality, character, or legendary reputation, but simply from his seemingly random, overpowered abilities. I kept thinking, what's up with that, while watching Dead Men Tell No Tales, and it bugged me how the movie kind of glossed over stuff without even trying to explain. This isn't directly Salazar's fault, but it did hurt his character. The lack of depth or explanation for him in general. Like why dying in the Devil's Triangle turned him into this randomly overpowered ghost leaves some questions unanswered. Also, why did Jack betraying the compass have the effect it did? And why was that effect tied to Salazar? It's like the movie sailed through Salazar's character without giving us a true understanding of the man behind the ghost. Also, Salazar shows exactly zero development or progress of any kind. The problems he faces are just random inconveniences. There's no real back and forth action between the protagonists either. He also has what I would consider the worst motivations of any villain in the series. It's all about his intense hatred and embarrassment over being bested by a young pirate he thought was beneath him. It's like, he was so incredibly arrogant and egocentric to begin with, and this defeat just crushed his pride. The fact that his entire villainous agenda is fueled by this personal grudge feels kind of weak compared to other villains in the series who had more complex or compelling reasons for their actions. So there you have it, folks. Armando Salazar, a ghostly antagonist in the Pirates of the Caribbean universe. Salazar's character, as fearsome as he may be, lacks the depth we've come to expect from Pirates of the Caribbean villains. His motives, primarily fueled by a personal grudge against Jack Sparrow, seem a bit one-dimensional. Unlike the rich backstories of characters like Barboza and Davy Jones, Salazar falls short on the complexity scale.